Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where it is day 20 of Mermaid and we are going to attack the Mahi Mahi from Animal Crossing. These colors are to inspire today's portrait. We're going golds, greens, blues, looks like even a touch of purple spotty spots in there so I'm thinking freckles. I don't even know. I'm gonna try and use markers today. I'm not very good with markers. Um, I am using Ohuhu markers and uh, since I had so much fun just using a stencil, I thought I'd pull out another stencil. It just makes life easier <laughs> when I can just trace out a picture really quick, especially since I'm experimenting with markers. So I'm going to just draw out a face and I'm using the Jane Davenport stencil. I don't know which one this is called, but I mean, it comes with everything on it. There's also two more pieces that go with it. One has like hair and one's like a neckline and like flowers and stuff. But I'm just gonna use this one. And I really hope, ooh, I really hope this uh, pencil goes okay with markers. Cause I'm not really skilled with markers. They're all new to me. Just kind of trying to picture the whole head here. Some pretty eyes. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to get the main idea down. Plus I'm using a pretty chunky lead, so I'm not gonna get like fine lines or details or anything. It's mostly just to get the idea down. And so I don't have to think. We'll obviously be working these out a lot more with color or with uh, markers. And let's get a cute little nose. Which nose do I like? Do a middle, the middle of the road nose. Although this fish does have a very large head. Let's see, lippies. Cute little lippies. And some eyebrows. We'll just do kind of the rounded ones. All right, done with that. The drawing part, the sketchy part, I guess, or the full drawing, but we're pretty much done with it. Um, make up a little strange neckline. And then hair, maybe, you know how yesterday we were talking, I think it was yesterday, we were talking about uh, how yesteryear, some women would, I think the queens would shave their foreheads, like their hairline back to give them a higher brow. That's what this girl's got going on. Just because the fish has a really big, like, forehead. And I don't know if I wanna go mohawk with it. But we're gonna give it some movement. And tiny little ears, cause it's a fish. Okay, so, okay, so, I'm gonna put this pencil away and we're gonna start the scary stuff. I probably should have gotten like, I don't know, some kind of a flesh tone. So we're gonna use this and where's a warm gray? And we'll use this. And I'm thinking the colors are mostly gonna be makeup. Is that gonna work out the way I want it to? I don't, I don't have a clue really. So why are four? Salmon pink. I'm gonna use the chisel and I'm gonna lay down a base color. I may even use watercolors on top of this. I've seen people do that. I have never done it. Ooh, this marker is not loving this paper. And also, don't really care why you ask because I didn't have to sit and draw this whole thing out. So if I need to restart, it's not a big deal. Terrifying. Maybe I'll kind of have the skin tone actually fade as it goes down her body. And it can turn like a blue or something. These colors, I don't know, they're not that important. They're just the peachy tones. But I should actually try and, I think maybe the chisel part was dried out. Might be totally wrong on that, I don't know. Let's set those aside and work with these colors for now. I'm 
little contouring on the face. Don't need to do too much because I'm going to be using a lot of other colors. And this is definitely not marker paper. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's put these away. Add some pink to her cheeks now. And her eyes, her lippies. I really have no idea where I'm gonna go with this. But there is gonna be a lot of color added to this face. Okay, maybe I'll bring this back just to blend this out a bit. or do absolutely nothing to it, whatever. Let's bring in the yellows. I'm gonna make her body yellow. Probably should have started with the lightest color. Well, maybe I did. Right caps back on, bring some of this green tone up into her face. Just checking the bleed through. It uh, bleeds through but does not transfer. I brought this out for a, to see if it would look good as a shading color. I don't think it quite works the way I want it to anyway. It's kind of fun just laying down huge blocks of color. Am I scared to bring in the blue? Absolutely. I do want to see if I can calm down that the skin splotchiness. Probably not. Let's just go over it with a really pale yellow. And then we'll take the darkest yellow, kind of just clean up the edges a little. Now, what do we got here? This is the green hues. And wow, are they green. I was hoping for something a little less abrupt. But there you have it. And then I, maybe I'll do the blues in the hair and I'll take a lot of the green up there as well. Let's start with the lightest version. Probably not the best idea to be doing this on a split page, but oh well. bring in some of the yellow just on the upper parts of the hair. I really need to bring in the blues. The, the blues, what do we have here? PB7 I think is my lightest color. So let's give that a go. I'm gonna take the darkest blue and just get the darks in. 
Might be too dark for down here. But I already started, so we'll work our way up. Hope that's not bleeding through to this side. Let's get the pale blue. And then we'll bring back in that pale greenish. Is this it? No, this one. And then just back to the really pale yellow. Well, that's not half bad for somebody who doesn't know how to color with markers. I can just kind of darken that up. Now, let's take the darkest blue and work on those eyes. Actually, maybe I'll get a different. Oh, this is oh, this is a very dark blue. I'm scared. Can't really see my lines. We're gonna pretend like we can. And maybe, maybe I don't wanna use this. We'll use a warm gray for the shading, the whites of the eyes. do some more bluey colors around her eyes. I'm not sure if this is going to be lighter or darker. Just making it up as I go. We're fine. Mm, let's try the uh, movie color. Do a little shading under the nose. And I did have a pink. Where did that go? Let's just pull one out. I feel like her lips like need to be bigger. They need a little more oomph to them. Or her chin is too small or something. Or her chin is too big, sorry. Like it's a little lopsided. Something happened. Let's see if I can make her lips a bit bigger. Hmm, I might have to bring in some colored pencil. Put the markers aside. Or I could do black ink. Ooh, that's always tempting. Let's try the black ink. Try it as in like, do it because it can't really go backwards.
think I'm going to add some watercolor in the background. Where's my nearest water? Looking just looking for a watercolor palette. I'm gonna go with this one. Lots of purples, blues, whatevs. I'm just gonna do it right around her. Ooh, pretty. Just do like the tiniest bit of color around her hair. Yeah, I feel like it should be a little more down here. That I'm feeling. And I talked about giving her purple freckles. I might just try that with the watercolors. See how they lay on the markers. Bit dark. Well, all right, you guys, there we have it. Woo! Day 20, mahi mahi. Lots of yellows and greens with some blues going on and touches of purples, which kind of just look gray on her skin, but what are you gonna do? Uh, thank you so much for joining me and uh, whew, another day done. Mermaid, we are two thirds of the way finished. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow with another mermaid. Take care, have a good night, stay healthy, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.